हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुमीना रेड्डी चीफ फर्टिलिटी कंसल्टेंट एंड लैप्रोस्कोपिक सर्जन मीरा फर्टिलिटी हैदराबाद टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज हिस्ट्रोसैल्पिंगोग्राम और एच एस डी अ हिस्ट्रोसैल्पिंगोग्राम और एच एस डी इज एन एक्सरे प्रोसीजर यूज टू सी वेदर द फेलोपियन ट्यूब्स आर पेटेंट दैट इज ओपन एंड इफ द साइड्स ऑफ द यूट्रस uterine cavity is normal hsg is an outpatient procedure that usually takes less than 5 minutes to perform it is usually done after the menstrual period ends but before ovulation how is a hysterosalpingogram done a woman is positioned under an x-ray imager or a fluoroscope that can take pictures during the study the gynecologist or radiologist then examines the patient's uterus and places speculum in her vagina her cervix is cleaned and the device called as cannula is placed into the opening of the cervix the doctor gently fills the uterus with a liquid containing iodine or a dye which is a fluid that can be seen by x-ray through the cannula the contrast will be seen as white fluid on the image and can show the contour of the uterus as the liquid travels from the cannula into the uterus and through the fallopian tubes into the abdominal cavity as the contrast enters the tubes it outlines the length of the tubes and spills out of their ends into the abdomen abnormalities inside the uterine cavity may also be detected by hsg by observing the x-ray images when the fluid movement is disrupted by the abnormality the hsg procedure is not designed to evaluate the ovaries or to diagnose endometriosis nor can it identify all the fibroids that are present in the uterus often side views of the uterus and tubes are obtained by having the woman change her position on the table after the hsg a woman can immediately return to her normal activities although some doctors ask that she should refrain from intercourse for a few days is it uncomfortable a hsg usually causes certain degree of uterine cramping which lasts for few minutes however some women may experience cramps for several hours these symptoms can be greatly reduced by taking medications used for menstrual cramps before undergoing the procedure women should be prepared to have a family member or a friend drive them home after the procedure in the event they are experiencing severe cramping pain does a hysterosalpingogram enhance fertility it is controversial whether this procedure enhances fertility some studies show a slight increase in fertility lasting for about 3 months after a normal hsg However, most doctors perform HSG only for a diagnostic reason than as a curative procedure. What are the risks and complications of HSG? HSG is considered a very safe procedure. However, there is a set of recognized complications, some serious which occur less often with HSG. These include infections. The most common serious problem with HSG is pelvic infection. This usually occurs when a woman has had previous tubal disease such as a past infection of chlamydia. In rare cases, infection can damage the fallopian tubes or make it necessary to remove the fallopian tubes. Second most common complication is fainting episodes which are rare. but sometimes women do experience light headedness during or shortly after the procedure third important risk factor is radiation exposure radiation exposure from a hsg is very low less than that with a kidney or bowel study this exposure has not been shown to cause any harm even if the lady conceives within the same cycle the hsg should not be done if the lady is already pregnant or if she is suspected to be pregnant another important side effect is iodine allergy if a woman has allergy to iodine contrast dye then a hsg should not be performed in such a woman if a woman experiences rash itching or swelling after the procedure she should contact her doctor immediately spotting 
Spotting occurs sometimes within 1 to 2 days after HSG. Unless instructed otherwise, a woman should notify her doctor if she experiences heavy bleeding after HSG. What is the next step if your tubes are blocked? If your tubes are blocked, your doctor will likely recommend either a surgical procedure to directly view the tubes such as laparoscopy or to bypass the tubes and perform an IVF procedure directly. This is a complex decision that should be discussed with your doctor. For more information about women health related topics and fertility, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.